Hello? Oh, Dwayne, honey, is that you now, honey? Mom. Huh? I'm here, Mom. Honey? Well, How honey, I know you're probably busy since you haven't called for weeks, honey, so I won't take up too much of your time now. No, that's okay. I'm fine, Mom. I'm just, yeah, uh, you know, what? I'm, I'm hmm. writing. That's all. Oh, of course, writing I suppose so. Well, honey, now, you know, you have written so many books. Uh -huh. I just wish you would publish one yes, of I've, them, I've, honey. Huh? I wish I would, too, Mom. Yeah, huh? Now, listen, did your novel get turned down again? You know, the one with the middle-aged man in the basement apartment trying to find somebody? It, it, huh? it did get turned down, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, honey, you know what? I knew it would. Okay. But anyway, 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 listen, I won't mm -hmm. keep you from, you know, whatever you're working on. I just wanted to let you know sure. that you're off the hook for Christmas because your dad and I are probably going to South Carolina over the holidays, honey. What? Yeah. So anyway, but don't worry about buying a present because, honey, you know, we have everything Mom. a person could want. Honey, we have good friends and we have good health. Well, except for your dad's memory loss and my bad hip. But anyway, uh -huh. you have yourself a wonderful holiday, honey, and we'll just see you in the new year, okay? Honey, Dwayne, are Mom, you? Mom, I, what? I, I, thought huh? that, I thought that we were Honey, don't go. worry about that. Now huh? listen, I know you're working on a book or whatever. Uh -huh. I don't mean to interrupt. In fact, they probably shouldn't have called tonight, and I apologize no, for that. No, no, I do. No, no, it's okay. No, 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 it's not. No, you're mad at me now. I can oh, tell. Mom, I can come tell. On. Yes, I can tell I'm by not, your voice, Mom, I'm honey. I'm not mad. Yes, okay. your voice, honey. I know you. I'm your mother, Dwayne. Right. Huh? What, what, but what's going on I, with your hip, oh, mother? Oh, honey, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, well, it's just a sharp stabbing pain. <laughs> that comes from 50 years of bending over to pick up things other people have dropped. <laughs> but honey, right. listen, don't worry about it. And you know what? I'm just sorry I even brought it up. Have you been uh, to see a doctor? Oh, honey, it's huh? bone on bone, oh. okay? okay? Every time I bend over, I hear a scraping sound. All right, mom. Now, you know what, honey? I was supposed to get a hip replacement two years ago. Uh -huh. But you know, then your girlfriend, Melanie, dumped you you know, right. and I just decided that I could not be laid up in bed, helpless, when my son is all alone in the Mom. world. I Mom. just couldn't, so I didn't, honey. For you, Mom. I didn't have that replacement. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you know what? Just forget I mentioned it. Here, I gotta go take a pill. You just talk to your dad for a okay. second. Hey, right. hey, right. it's Dwayne on the phone. You wanna talk to him? It? It's Dwayne, now just take the phone. Now don't drop it, just take the phone for crying out there. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Oh, it's you then? Yes. Yeah. Just uh, uh, wanted to say hello and uh, okay. wish you happy holiday. Thank you. Mom says you're having memory problems? Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Um, actually, I was going to ask you uh, a, a question, Dad. I'm, I'm working on a book here. I'm wondering how you met... Mom, how the two of you met? Oh. Uh-huh. Working, working on a memoir. Oh, I see. So uh, yeah. I thought I should put that in. No, wait, you, you know. you're talking about how I met your mother? Right. Uh-huh. It, so, uh, it was at a concert. It was, concert. oh, at a concert. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, by who? No, it wasn't a who. Uh, <laughs> maybe it was Van Morrison, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, the guy who wrote Brown Eyed maybe, Girl? It, maybe it was uh, Jim Morrison, now that oh, I Jim. think of it. Uh, of the, you no, mean of the doors, Jim no, Morrison? No, I, I think his name was Stone or something like oh. that. Yeah. But what kind of music was it? I forgot. Oh, okay. So you met at the concert? Well, afterward. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I thought she was my cousin, and I asked her if she needed a ride home. Uh huh. Yeah. So you gave her a ride home? No, no, she didn't need a ride. But I noticed that she dropped her handkerchief. Uh huh. So you returned it to her? No. No, no, I, I didn't know where she lived. So, sure, yeah. but but you found out where no. she lived. Mm, no, no, but I saw her two years later at a ball game. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh -huh. She was sitting right behind me. I heard her sneeze. Right. And I still had that handkerchief in my pocket, <laughs> so I handed it to her. So it was her. It was her handkerchief. As it turned out, no. 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 <laughs> No, hers was beige, and this was a white. Uh, uh, yeah. so, but she needed a handkerchief? No, she didn't, uh -huh. but uh, I did. See, oh. when I turned to give her the handkerchief, I spilled my Coke in her lap, and I used the handkerchief to mop it all up. So, I see. Yeah. So, so she gave you her uh, phone number? Well, later she did, yeah. Uh -huh. After I went to the parking lot and 
and my car alarm went off and I couldn't open the front door and, and she heard the alarm, came to help me and, uh -huh. and we discovered it wasn't my car. <laughs> no, it was someone else's. So, so anyway, we found my car and then I gave her a ride home and we've been together ever since. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's your mother. Then. Okay, thanks. All right, give me the phone yeah. now. Right. Give me the phone. All right, all right, honey, here you are. Here we are. Here we are. What? So, what did he tell you? Well, he uh -huh. said it was uh, kind of love at first sight, I guess. You know, it's oh, kind of a... he did, huh? Yep. Uh, okay, well, that's funny. Anyway, honey, listen, I got a little Christmas present for you. I just like uh -huh. to bring it over, if you don't mind. So you're at home now, huh? No, I'm, I'm not, Mom. What? I'm, what? I'm, uh, I'm in New York. Well, what are you doing there? Um, huh? Well, I just, I just thought it would be good for the memoir. What? Uh, you know, if I had lived here for a while. But in New York, you didn't live in New York, honey. Well, it's creative nonfiction. And, oh, uh, Dwayne, I thought memoirs are supposed to be truthful, honey. Well, truthful, yes. Yeah. But, but factual, not necessarily. They're not oh. the same. They're not the same thing anymore, Mom. Okay, this is so all honey, changed. honey, honey. All right. See? Okay. All right. I'll buy that. So let me just ask you this. You think you might fall in love in the memoir? I, I huh? might, you know. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't see why not. Okay. Might you have grandchildren, honey? Huh? I suppose if she wants to. Well, make her want to. Make her want to, Dwayne, huh? Okay. Okay. All right. And honey, honey, listen. If you can give me a grandchild, even in a memoir, honey, I would be so happy. So happy. You want a girl or a boy? A girl. A girl. A girl. A girl. Okay. Thank you, honey. Give me a girl. Okay. All right. And listen, honey, can you write a scene where I hold her in my lap? I'll write that scene, Mom. Oh, honey, that would be so good. Cool. Okay, well, okay. then I, I'll let you go write that right All now, right. honey. Okay, love you, honey. Love you. Okay, love bye you. now. Bye, bye now. Mom. All right, bye, bye. Thank you.